everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another video. Now today I'm talking to a cast member from The Next Step and they're going to come on and tell me a little bit about what it was like being on The Next Step, what it was like being part of the new age group and what it was like getting to nationals. So today Mila who played Jet on The Next Step will be coming to chat to me about their time on the show. What's up? I'm Mila Tupi and I play Jet from The Next Step. Thank you so much for coming, Mila. So today we're going to be having a chat about your time on The Next Step, what it was like being on the new age group and going to nationals, and overall what the experience of being on set was like. So to start off the interview, why did you decide to audition for The Next Step? Wow, um, I've just been a huge fan of the show ever since I was like a little kid. So just being like having the opportunity to actually audition for it and possibly be on the show and like just share my love for dance with the whole entire world is just just sounds amazing to me. Yeah, awesome. And, you know, being a fan of the show and like, you know, like you said, getting to audition for it must have been such a great feeling. So fast forwarding a few months, um, what was it like when you found out that you did get the character of Jet? It was a surreal moment. Like, it was just so amazing that like all my hard work, like actually like paid off and I just loved. So, okay. Let me explain like how I found out because it's it's actually a really funny story. So my uh, agency actually like, emailed me and was like, oh, we want to have a Zoom call, just like one little last audition thing with like some of the writers. And so Amy Wright was there, Amy Cole was there, Romeo. And then they had us like do like these weird things. They're like, oh, dance like your name out. And I was like, okay. So it's just like doing that. And then after like in the call, they're like, you booked it and I was just oh my gosh like I think I started crying possibly because it's just so overwhelming and so amazing yeah it sounded like a wonderful moment and I'm hoping they were happy tears obviously um and you know it just sounds like a really cool process of getting onto the show so once you got onto the show and you kind of met your fellow castmates was there somebody who you kind of instantly bonded with was there a friendship from the start I actually already knew some people before like entering the show, for example, like I knew Ben who plays Pete, uh, Melo Melody who plays uh, Daisy, and Renee who plays Izzy because we were all in like the same hip hop crew. I even like also knew Alexandra Chaves because she actually used to dance at my old studio. Yeah, it's awesome that you had connections. You know, I've heard from um, people who have interviewed from The Next Step before that the Toronto dance group are very close and that you all kind of know each other. Is that true? Yeah, kind of. I'm I'm actually not really like from Toronto. I live a I live a, like around an hour away. But once I when I joined the crew, I started like knowing more people, and then I started like knowing like all these other people in the community. And so yeah, it is pretty close. Even like if I'm far away, I still feel really close to my community. Oh, that's awesome! And you know, once you got on to the show and like started to learn the dances, getting to know the different people. Was there a certain dance that you did in TNS8 that kind of stood above the rest that was your all-time favourite? Oof. I, I loved all the dances. All of them were amazing. But I'd have to say that the duet I did with Brandon had to be my favourite. I it was, it was so much fun to, like, film and, like, dance with, especially with Brandon. And the hip-hop choreography was in it. It was just so amazing. I, I love that dance so much. Yeah, it was certainly a fantastic routine. And I think... That was that dance a couple episodes after the season finale because that was kind of one of the first episodes that we really properly got to know all the characters from the new A troop. So for that reason, it was very monumental. But seeing everybody do the duets together was also a great feeling. So, like I said, at the season mid season finale, it was step inside, which is where we said goodbye to a lot of the old A troop, and that's kind of the transition we had from the old A troop into the new A troop. So. At the end of the show, obviously the new age group came in and sat and watched the final dance. So what was it like for you to watch that? It was it was amazing. I forget who someone's line like really like just like depicted like how I felt personally during it. It was like this is like what we have to live up to, like as the new age group, especially. But it was just so amazing like to watch them dance. Especially like watching like Alex. I haven't like seen her in like a, f a few years. But just being able to watch her again is just so amazing because like growing up, like when she danced in my studio, I always looked up to her 
and up to like all of them really but it was just so amazing to watch them and be like wow like i have to live up to this which is hard but it's amazing yeah it definitely does sound amazing and as an a viewer watching it it gave me goosebumps and like seeing them dance so i couldn't even like imagine what it was like in person it sounds incredible so obviously your character of jet had quite a few storylines we had some really dominant ones which did affect like the other um a troopers in the storyline of the season so if you could pick one storyline that was your favorite to be part of what one would it be i have to say my favorite storyline is like the episode with uh brandon when like my mom came in because I, I made a post about it early but it really is literally just like how my life is like i love my mom so much she drove me to toronto every day just for rehearsal and that's like an hour away and even though she had work like she was working at the hospital she was tired she still found a way to like do all these things for me sorry but like i i love her so much so just the show like actually like depicting it and like how amazing my mom is is just like so special to me i love that episode so much like Oh my gosh. Yeah, that must be such a special episode because as a viewer watching it, it really kind of made my heart warm as well to kind of see the bond that Jet had with her mum and clearly the bond you had with your mum. It's honestly so lovely to see. So obviously nationals happened in TNS8 um, and that was a huge moment, not just for Atri, but for your character because just before nationals, we saw Jet have to kind of leave well not kind not leave but she had to sacrifice and things to look after her family which was also another great storyline for your character so what was it like for you to get to perform in the finals at nationals it was so incredible like i uh, just dancing on the stage again was just so great like especially because of like covid like i wasn't able to like compete on a stage yet and especially that stage i actually where we filmed it I remember I had a competition there when I was seven and I remember it really well because like the fire alarm went off and I was like, oh, I walked in. I was like, this place looks familiar. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had a comp here. And the stage is just so amazing. So just being able to just like dance on a stage again was just like phenomenal. Like, yeah, it does sound uh, like an amazing experience. And like you said with COVID, because back when TNS 8 was filmed, I'm assuming that it, it just kind of gone past the covid lockdown situation because it was when did you film it was it summer of 2022 when you filmed it or was it before that it was around oh i think around my first rehearsal was like february february 10th around there yeah so it would have been around that time so it must have been such a lovely feeling to get to perform and in front of a live audience as well i've heard that getting to do that and getting to dance in front of the fans is also a great feeling too oh yeah for sure so I think you kind of answered this earlier, but I'm going to ask ask you it anyway. So were you a fan of The Next Step before you watched the show? Oh my gosh, I was I was a huge fan. I was trying to look for it for the interview, but I remember I had a poster of The Next Step that I always like, but it was like season one, I want to say. But I've been a huge fan of the show for like the longest time. That's awesome. And you know what I love is that like when people who've been fans of The Next Step get to go on it, it's honestly like just such a nice feeling because as a fan of the show myself, it just must feel amazing to go on it. So, you know your character of Jet, can you kind of relate to her in some way? Are there things that are very similar about you both? And was your character kind of written of you, if that makes sense? I think, yeah, my character is like is basically me it's like written around me it's like some of the things we would say is like part of like the storylines for example like for example the polipino part with me and blake um we were actually talking about it the other day and they just added it in and we we're like oh sick this is awesome but they put in like little things even like the mom thing that was a big part of it because when i found out uh I booked TNS, she was actually in the call with me and she had like all her nurse scrubs on and they're like, oh, cool. So they just put it in, but yeah. Yeah, it's, I love how on the next step they really form the characters around the person because, you know, as hard as acting is, it must be nice to kind of fit into that role because you can relate to it so much. Um, so I'm really happy that they do that. Now, I want to ask you one last question. And I just kind of want to open the floor to any stories or memories you want to share from your time on the set of The Next Step. So basically, there's this game. It's like a rhyming game. 
and like in between like takes all the time we'd like constantly like play it so yeah you're just going off of each other and it's like it's just like a circle of us and we're just like going off of like like it's like yeah it's a rhyming game and it's just rapping whatever and then one day one of the writers jan actually like heard it through the thing and she's like oh i'd be so good at this game so then the next time i had a like a, a talking head we we were just waiting for like them to fix my hair or something and then we just started playing it and i thought i was good at the game but like she like killed it like i was i i can't play the game anymore now because she just destroyed me but it's fine Oh no, <laughs> it's not to actually destroyed you, but I love kind of how you had that fun in between takes, how you all kind of bonded. And another nice thing to hear is how kind of close that the actors were with the crew as well. Because, you know, like you were saying earlier, like when you were on the call with like Amy Wright and Amy Cole, etc. like that, it was just lovely to kind of hear how close you all are. Now, unfortunately, that is the end of the interview, but it has been absolutely lovely hearing about your time on the next step. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and talk to me. Thank you so much for having me. You're most welcome. And also, thank you to everybody who watched this interview. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon for another one. Bye, guys. Please.